So let's see that the question's question says the density of a substance at zero degrees Celsius is 10 gram per cc and 100 degrees Celsius. Its density is 9.7 gram per cc. The question of linear expansion of the substance is so we can say that the density of substance is 0 degree Celsius. Wo 10 gram per cubic centimeter is equal to 100 degree Celsius. 9.7 gram per cubic centimeter is equal to So, coefficient of linear expansion of substance is equal to the fine card. So, let's start the solutions. But before of it, let's talk about the key concept which we are going to use here for this question. First of all, the concept is the volumetric expansion coefficient of formula which is represented by the gamma is equal to del rho divided by rho 1 times of change in temperature that is delta t. Second formula we have to use calling it coefficient of linear expansion in terms of volumetric expansion alpha is equal to gamma divided by t. So, as a fellow, we have volumetric expansion to find out that is gamma. So, this must be equal. Now, the del rho is the density ka difference. Hai. So, we simply say that the initial density is rho 1 hai, final density rho 2 hai, divided by rho 1 to already use with hi. Multiply by temperature difference means to say T2 minus me, T1. So, this will be equal to. So initial final so no substitute carrying it 10 minus 9.7 divided by a 10 t2 100 minus t1 kitna hai 0 degree Celsius. So this by the up simplify cut then say I think 3 into 10 to the power minus 14. But as per the question, I make a find karnata function of linear expansion any alpha which is given by the formula gamma divided by 3. So this will be equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 3. So 3 so 3 cancel out ho jayenga. So coefficient of linear expansion nikal ka jayenga. 10 to the power minus 4 ki. A yehi ho jayenga amara required answer for this question. Jo ke humne find out kya hai by using the formula Coefficient of volumetric expansion and coefficient of uh, linear expansions. So, as per the given option, option A is correct. So, this is the required solution. I hope you understand well. Best of luck. Thank you.